everyone, I'm Great Maki. This episode contains spoilers for the movie Gunnam Seed Freedom. If you want to watch the movie without any prior information, I recommend skipping this episode. Today, we are going to analyze the mobile suit piloted by Derek Elsman. He has become a very popular character before the TV Ami of Gundam Seed aired. The information released described him as a cunning and cruel character. Let's focus on the mobile suit piloted by Derek, who has grown through many experiences. It's a powerful Gundam with a nuclear engine. My show cooperates with the secret organization Terminal to talk about the Gundam series. You've already learned the information that there is a force that possesses mobile suits equipped with nuclear engines. Press the subscribe button and become one of our comrades. That way, you can continue to live a fun and safe life. You have learned top secret information. In the final battle of the movie, Darka pirates the Lightning Buster Gunnam. Iza gets into the dual Brits Gunnam. Iza is surprised and asks they prepared such an old mobile suit. Iza is a commander of the Zaft Intelligence. He also immediately protected the chairman of the Supreme Council during an internal rebellion within the Zaft forces. He has access to an extremely sophisticated information network and operational authority. Even Isaac was unaware of the existence of Dual Brits and Lightning Buster. The information management capabilities of the terminal, which is believed to be working in conjunction with the battleship Itano, are astounding. Darka says the engine has been replaced with a nuclear engine and the cockpit has a standard specification common to the Zaku series. This is the moment Dark acquires a mobile suit as powerful as freedom or justice. However, he no longer has the desire for just a powerful force to defeat enemies as he did in the past wars. To stop the foolish fight, Dark and Lightning Buster go into action. Their Gundams join forces with Meteor. The Meteor units introduced here are Unit 7 and Unit 8, identical to those used by Kiro and Dafran in Sea Destiny. Dark combines with Unit 8. Unit 8 is the media used by the Infinite Justice Gundam. The media launches for the justice Darker believes in. The origin of the name Lightning is currently unclear. In the past, there was a mobile suit called Lightning Strike Gundam equipped with the Lightning Striker pack. Lightning Strike was responsible for long-range sniping and supplying energy to light units. The Lightning Buster Gundam is equipped with numerous shooting weapons. The missile launchers on both shoulders were removed and parts resembling cameras were added. In addition, the large camera on the head and the armor protecting it are still equipped. In the movie, since he was fighting on the front lines alongside dual Brits, there was no scene in which long-range sniping was performed. Also in the movie, the Destiny Gundam spec 2 fires a deuterium beam from its head to replenish the energy of the Impulse Gundam spec 2. Perhaps the Lightning Buster Gundam is equipped with the same system. If it's able to replenish the energy of its allies, we can assume that it works similarly to the Lightning Strike Gundam. What about other possibilities? The word blitz given to Duo Gunnam and Lightning are both related to the concept of electric lightning. Perhaps Nicole Amalfi is related to the origin of the name. Another possibility focuses on the element of thunder. Norse mythology features Thor, the god of thunder. The Seed series features a character named Tal Koenig. He is killed in an attack by the Aegis Gunnam. Tal was the lover of Mary Aller and had no acquaintance with Darker. Many fans 
may feel that there is little connection between Joker and Tao. However, in the novel version, there is a more detailed description. After an argument with Mary Oliver, Joker worries that he has hurt her. Then one day, he discovers a photo of Tao Koenig. Dark used to think that nodules are an inferior ways to coordinators, but through conversations with Mary Oller, he begins to think that nodules might be the same as humans. Looking at Thor's photo, he is faced with the reality that without coordinators and nodules are equally important. Dark plunges into the escalating war alongside his comrades from the Archangel. Wanting to protect Mary over Darka Balls, the Buster Gunnam. In the cockpit, Darka speaks to telling his heart. She tells Tom of his determination to protect Mary Owner to protect life. To Darka, Tom is an important person who has defined the reason he fights. It would not be surprising if Tom is related to the name Lightning Buster. However, it seems that Isaac was unaware of the existence of dual Brits and Lightning Buster. If Tal is related, it would be a concept from the real world development stage. Finally, there is another element that could be related to the origin of the name. At the time, when the TV only aired, the word Tempest was associated with the Buster Gunnam. It could be a word that was imagined from the powerful bombardment that crossed the battlefield. Stones and lightning are words that are closely related. Perhaps the name lightning reflects this element. Let's analyze the model number of the lightning buster. It is set GMF 103 HD. The original buster Gunnam was GATX. 103. It seems that the model number was inherited. What does HD mean? There is no clear explanation at this point. In previous works, there was an engine called Hyperdutorium. This engine was used in Destiny Gunnam, Legend Gunnam Strike Freedom Gunnam, and Infinite Justice Gunnam. If HD indicates the presence of a nuclear engine, it wouldn't be strange if HD stood for Hyperdutorium. So, what weapons does the Lightning Buster Gunnam have? First of all, the missiles on the back. Since parts that look like cameras have been added to both shoulders, the missiles are on the back. I couldn't confirm how the missiles were used in the movie's short battle scenes. They seem to be weapons for attacking enemies from behind. Next are the beam guns. These appear to be rapid fire weapons with short barrels. You can see grips for holding them by hand. I remember a scene where they were fired while connected to Meteor. It's possible they could be fired without holding the grip. Since this is a nuclear-powered Gunnam with weapons attached to the body, they could be high-powered weapons. Then, the beam cannons. These are very large weapons with two mounted on the back. They have a structure that changes from a folded state to a firing stance. They can be fired in a manner similar to the traditional Buster Gunnam by combining them with the Hibim Cannon. They can also be fired over the shoulder in a stance similar to the barrier of the Freedom Gunnam. When combined with the Meteor, they are powerful weapons capable of firing. The traditional Buster Gunnam mechanism of combining two weapons has been discontinued. Fans who like the combining weapons may have been disappointed. The combined weapon of the Buster Gunnam was adopted because the generators in each weapon could be used simultaneously by combining them. Perhaps the Lightning Buster Gunnam, which is equipped with a nuclear engine, can perform powerful shots without such a mechanism. There is also the possibility that it can fire beams of destructive power, limited only by the durability of the barrel. 
In the final battle of the movie, Destiny Gundam and Akatsuki appear equipped with huge shooting weapons. The name of this weapon is unknown at this point. This weapon is extremely destructive, capable of destroying the railway station and the main body of the giant beam cannon Requiem. It's unclear if it's a beam cannon or if it fires metal bullets, but it has extremely high attack power. This is why the barrel collapses when fired. Perhaps the Lightning Buster Gundam is equipped with a gun that is on the verge of collapsing when it fires a more powerful weapon. I also really like the Buster Gundam. Kira, Afran Isaac and Darka, all Gundam pilots who appeared in Gundam Seed, ended up piloting powerful Gundams with nuclear engines. Darka pilots the Lightning Buster Gundam, remembering Nico and Tao, and is determined to keep the peace. We must not forget those who died, shouts the commander of the Zoft Rebellion. With sad eyes, Darka, who says I haven't forgotten, fires the beam cannon at the Rebel flagship. All the elements of the strike he just drew. Buster and Blitz made an appearance in the movie Gundam Seed Freedom. Ha! Huh? What's that? He just didn't appear. Watch the movie carefully, even though it's a very short scene. There is a scene where the destroyed head of the Aegis Gundam is shown. The role of the Lightning Buster Gundam was brief, but I wish I could have seen more of its action. With hopes for the future, I am determined to support the movie. Let's meet again in the next program.